Hi, I'm Jason Washburn, uh, law enforcement officer by day, theater mogul by the rest of the day. What is your favorite uh, work of somebody else? My favorite work of somebody else, like artwork? Or just in general? Uh, I like Salvador Dali a whole lot. Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali. He paints surrealistic artwork, oil on canvas mostly. Um, he's amazing. I love surrealistic art a lot. Um, I think it's a fantastic. Um, what about in theater? Thing uh, in theater. Uh, what what's the bet? What's my favorite show? Anything just... Stephen Sondheim. All right. Uh, Into the Woods, probably one of my favorite shows. Never had the opportunity to be in it, uh, in a part that I wanted to play. Um, they just recently did that here at this theater, but um, right. I didn't get... I was there for that. <laughs> I, I didn't get cast in the part that I wanted, so I didn't do the show. But I saw that on Broadway the year it opened, the original cast, Bernadette Peters, Chip Zen, uh, awesome, awesome show, and um, fantastic. Uh, Sweeney Todd's my favorite Stephen Sondheim show. Hmm. And uh, craziest theater story, I guess. Crazy craziest story theater, theater yeah. story. Well, there's some crazy stuff I did. A funny thing happened on the way to the Forum in 92. Theater Works was at a different place then. But I did it there. Uh, I was 18. Gregory Hines directed it. Um, Ron Hunting was in it. Greg Salem was in it. Uh, or Greg Santos, sorry. Uh, Patrick Delaney, Ellen Dodd were some other people in it. Uh, awesome, fun show. They did some crazy, nutty stuff in that show. It's a spoofy kind of show. I mean, you can do a lot of campy stuff in it. And so there's. This part where this character Erroneous is returning from this long journey he went on. And he has these three servants bringing up his baggage from the harbor. And they come walking on stage with a jet ski. Now this show takes place in like Greek times. Um, so that was pretty funny. Uh, they, we did some crazy stuff in that show. What was the hardest project you ever had? Uh, I did... The hardest thing I did, um, uh, Aaron Copeland uh, wrote, uh, we wrote a lot of stuff. Probably most people who aren't real music people remember the beef commercials a number of years ago. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Okay, the song Appalachian Spring, he wrote that. That was the song they used for that commercial. Right. Um, but... Uh, he wrote up. He wrote some operas. He wrote an opera called *The Tenderland*. Um, he wrote that in the 1950s, I think. Guy was awesome, awesome writer. This is probably one of the hardest parts I've ever. I played Grandpa in that. I got cast as a lead. I was a freshman in college. I sang some graduate students for that part. That was pretty cool. Um, it was a great triumph for that age in my life. Best person to work with? Uh, best person to work with. Like most, like the uh, other people you've worked with before. Um, well, I I don't have a best. I have people who I, I love to work with. Uh, Ron Hunting is fabulous to work with. That guy, uh, creative genius, is pretty amazing. Um, just to watch him work and do stuff. Uh, I got to work with my father, who is now dead, um, passed away a few years ago, but he was an amazing uh, man to work with. Um, I've, I've worked with uh, some, some fantastic people. Uh, there's a lot of people at this theater currently. Um, Robin Allen is, uh, I've worked with her in a lot of capacities. I've, she's directed me. I've stage managed a show that she was in. Um, I've designed sets for her, uh, painted stuff for her. Um, awesome. She's uh, awesome to work for. Uh, Athena Hunting, another person, Chris Hamby. Um, those are all people that are here 
now who I work with currently, and, and, and they're amazing. I did a show when I was 18. I did... Um, played the lion, the cowardly lion, in the, a version of Wizard of Oz. Now, the guy that directed that, his name is Joel Coleman. He directed and did the choreography for The Wiz on Broadway. When that opened on Broadway. Um, that was an awesome experience. That guy is, was amazing to work with at that age. Uh, just to watch him uh, go through the stuff. Uh, uh, Eduardo Villa uh, probably had the single greatest influence on me as a performer. Um, he's a European opera tenor. Won the Met Auditions in 83. Awesome, awesome voice. That guy was amazing. Uh, I was a good singer, and then I met him, and I became a great singer. Um, and and uh, that's the difference in my voice and in my ability as a singer when uh, he, you know, worked with me and taught me exactly what I should and shouldn't be doing. So probably most single, most influential person I've ever done anything with is Eduardo Villa. Hmm. What was what started you off in theater? What uh? My parents. Um, my dad was a music teacher in high school and minister of music at churches, uh, certain a number of churches in the valley over the years. But um, certainly, uh, that was a large portion of it. My mom's a voice teacher, teaches flute, teaches piano, teaches voice out of her house. Um, it was just kind of a given we were all going to be in music um, and my family in some capacity. Uh, my brother was a music teacher as well. Now he's a principal. But, I mean, right. my sister played oboe, mm -hmm. you know, was in band uh, all, you know, all through school, um, choirs, singing. So I was in my first opera at the age of four. Um, Star Seven was the name of that opera. It's a religious... Thing. And then since then, you know, you name it, I've done it. I was, I played, uh, tried out a couple of different instruments until I settled on percussion. Played percussion all through grade school and high school. Um, w was in Phoenix Boys Choir for three, three years or four. I think it was three years. Uh, it, it was in. I've been in a handbell choirs. I've been in church choirs. I've been in jazz choirs. I mean, you name it, I've done it. As far as that's concerned. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's I think that's all we have time for. I'm, I'm going on ten ten thirty minutes. So, um, anything else you want to say? Uh, it's not about the money. It's about the art, man. Because uh, theater doesn't pay that well, even if you're a star. Uh, movie stars make more money than theater stars. Although right. theater is harder, in my opinion. So, it's not about that, it's about the art. And if you keep that in perspective, then I think you'll be okay. <laughs>